Okay, so time for the next big project. That is fencing. That's up next. Hello everyone, this is Dwayne with Edge of Nowhere Farm and we're coming to you here today. It is Sunday, February 23rd, 2020. So we're coming to you today, we're actually starting the first in another series. <laughs> and that's the first in the next series in our lives and that is fencing. So our last series and what we just wrapped up was irrigation. We got the first round of irrigation in on the farm. We have irrigation run to all of our primary orchards. We also have it run about two thirds of the way back on the property and now what we need to do is now we need to keep all of the trees we want to get in the ground safe from cattle so that obviously basically makes this particular project the next priority for us because we can't put anything in the ground that is edible or even partially edible <laughs> without cattle tearing it to shreds so what we want to cover today is we really just want to kind of show you our plan we are going to be marking a few things out we're going to talk a little bit about some of the things that we're going to do as far as fencing is concerned and then we'll kind of go from there so let's go ahead and take a look at the plan so what you see here is you see our general plan now this is the basically the the mock slash drawing that Lori and i have been working off of for the better part of the last year and a half or so as we got prepared coming onto the property we haven't made much in the way of updates on this for a few months so a couple things were a little out of place but it does give you a general idea of the layout of our primary five acres now we have a total of six so what you don't see here would be about an acre coming out this way that will be specifically for some of our livestock our smaller livestock the pigs sheep goats that kind of thing so we have that over there we're not talking about that today because we're not working out that far yet what we're talking about would be the other five acres so on that five acres and just to my right would be our house where we're at now would be the corner and actually it's going to wind up being here would be the corner of where our grapevines are at and that's what this is leaning up against now as we go further back and we're talking about fencing you guys watched us in stall in our irrigation series the irrigation going to our east orchard here our west orchard on that side we stubbed out some lines here for our grapevines and our garden beds and we also ran irrigation to our citrus which is right across the front of the house here in addition we have our berry patch that we originally had planned here that's actually situated right about here so you can see we've got a lot of other plans for growing but the vast majority of this is on the front mm, i'm going to say two-thirds or so of this five acre parcel so now we've got irrigation out to here about where you see this squiggly line running across on both sides of the farm so we know that we're going to keep the majority of our water needs in here and again our planting so our challenge that we're faced with here is we have cattle open range cattle that come through here on a regular basis i won't say we see them every night but we do see them pretty often they come at all times of the day and night we've had them eating everything they eat wood chips they eat grass they eat some weeds they've even tried eating our little flags that we have designated for our fruit trees we watched a, ca a cow go from one to the next to the next until she finally figured out hey i don't like these plastic things so they'll test out just about everything all that being said the challenge we have is this is our growing area and we want to start planting now we need to start planting in the spring if we don't get to planting by may we're going to have to put everything off until fall so we need to have some fencing that is going to be secure is going to keep cattle out of the growing areas and it needs to encompass a large area so what we've decided to do we've gotten some great input from you guys but what we've decided to do is go with a couple different types of fencing first and primary type of fencing that we're going to be putting up is going to be barbed wire now we've gotten some great suggestions from you guys i know several of you had suggest suggested electrical the problem with having electrical wire out here we do have families that live across the street we have kiddos that like to come out and kind of take a look at our chicken Chickens. and as we have more going on we want to welcome them to come onto the property when they want to well within reason but uh, we don't want to do anything that would exclude the kiddos from coming out so that really took electrical off the list for us the last thing we want to do is zap a kiddo not interested in that at all so the next thing of course would be barbed wire and that's what we're going to use for the predominant areas to keep cattle out so the vast majority of the areas as we're looking at the perimeter of the farm we're going to be using five strands of barbed wire now we'll get into more detail as we 
start to install these things, but that's going to be the primary parts of the acreage. So along this area here, we're going to have neighbors here that land already sold. We don't know what they're putting up here as far as fencing, so we're not going to put anything too permanent, but barbed wire there. We're going to take barbed wire across the property here, which is going to cut off this back two acres or so, which you can see we have destined for cows in the future. So we're going to cut that off across here, and then we're going to run barbed wire down to the front of the property there. So that's going to be the perimeter of this two and a half to three acres that we're working with here for planting. Next thing would be down here. So we do have an outbuilding that's going to be coming in next to the house. We'll be putting some fencing in there. Now that outbuilding will help us as far as fencing off cows because it is a, a pretty good fence, <laughs> but we're going to have to obviously fence around them. So same thing there. We're going to either use barbed wire or we're going to use some type of welded wire or field fencing. But because that's temporary, we're just going to run barbed wire across the back of the house here. Last thing would be the front of the house. Now, Lori was made it very clear to me that she didn't want it looking junky at the front of the house. <laughs> so what we've done is we've contracted with a fence company. They're waiting for their quote, but they're going to come out and do some nice farm style fencing, that horizontal fencing uh, in the front of the house. We'll eventually extend that all the way to the perimeter on that side. Also use that between the barn and this area on here on this side. But for now, at least the front of the house will be that fencing. And then we're going to use welded wire or field fencing uh, as it goes across to the other side, at least temporarily until we can afford to put the more expensive fencing in. So that's going to essentially get us fenced in and allow growth on the farm. So we've got our work cut out for us. Uh, yesterday we had planned on getting started. We wanted to get to Tractor Supply to get materials and supplies. And then we did pick up a few things, which I'm going to show you here in a second. But all of our major posts and that type of thing we could not get. So our plan is to do that next weekend and go ahead and get started with, with the entire project next weekend. But for today, what we're going to do is we're going to actually go through and get some measurements taken, start marking out where we're going to have corner braces, H braces, and that kind of thing. So you guys are going to come along with us. So I have the first marking for my fence post here. So essentially what we did, we know we have a determined spot on this side. This is the east side of the property. What you see behind me would be our livestock acre. So we do know we're going to have a gate right here. And I, that's actually where we're going to have the cutoff for the front part of the farm because the orchard is just behind Lori. So that's the cutoff that we need to go across. So we have our measurement here. It's 361 feet to this post right here, which is our property marker here. So we're at 361 feet here. So now what we need to do is head to the other side of the farm, mark off 361 feet from the front, and then come across the farm this way so we know exactly what square we're dealing with and we can mark the rest of our fence posts. So we got a little more walking to do. This is actually the furthest point of the property. This is the southwest corner. So this is actually the longest line on our property line. Well, I guess the back of the L is pretty close too, but either way, we know this is about 630 or so feet, I believe. So we're back here at the corner. So now what I've do done is I've got my line here nice and tight. We're just gonna go back along here and make sure it's straight. We don't have anything hanging up. And then what we need to do is measure from the front of the property and come back 361 feet towards this end here. Now we do have one more marker, but it's right at the two acre spot. So I know that wasn't quite far enough back at 361 feet. So now Lori and I are gonna walk back up front, take our measurement and drop a stake at 361 feet on this side of the property.
Okay, so here we are. We guys have actually seen this corner. So this is where we ended our irrigation lines when we put our irrigation in a couple weeks ago. This is my electrical line that will eventually extend over to the livestock acre immediately behind Lori. And what we have is we have a 12 foot fence. So two six foot gates essentially that are gonna open up into this back area here where we're gonna have our cattle and other larger livestock. So what I've marked off here would be the gate. So I've got my 12 foot gate going across. You can see my uh, water lines and my uh, electrical line is going to be able to go just underneath the gate here so just on the inside of the gate out to the back pasture the back 40 here and then i've got a four foot spacing for posts for my h brace to head across the farm this way and what you're looking at here is again that cross section of the farm so we've got our fr the front part of our five acres behind me the back part of our five acres there in front of me so now what we need to do is go back to that corner measure off our h braces there and our h braces in the front and then i think we're going to be done measuring for today. Okay, so we're done. Now, I'll tell you what, it's amazing because we get to the end of February like we are in here. We had a winter storm come in through yesterday, so you saw me pulling weeds and stuff. Very, very easy to get those up out of the ground. We're hoping that the ground stays nice and soft. We're gonna start digging in this next weekend with the auger, of course, so we'll show you that. But what's amazing to see is all the greenery behind us and really excited for growing. Now, where we're at here, so we're basically at the back half. We're 361 feet from the front of the property back here at this corner where we're going to cut across have the barbed wire fencing cut across here that's going to leave this back half open so we're going to let the open range cattle have at it with the wood chip pile behind me and we're going to start growing on the front uh, two-thirds or so of the property or at least of that five acres so really excited to have this started have our markings down for all of our braces so we've got our H braces going in here we've got sections laid out for gates uh, so that's all measured out I think we missed one wood post placing on an H brace on the other side so we'll have to remeasure that we are going to get wire all the way across here if Lori wants to pan as you start looking across what you're gonna see is our planting area behind me. We've got our wood chip pile going there. We are still getting wood chip deliveries, a little sporadically, but we're getting them. We kind of lucked out because those wood chips are behind our fence, so we're gonna leave that open for cattle for now. This whole area behind us here will eventually be for cattle. We haven't really decided exactly how we're gonna do all of that, but we are gonna go ahead and get the fencing up here on this side of the property because we do get some traffic from people with their quads and things like that. So we wanted to just make sure we designate that this is private property and we don't have a lot of traffic coming through here. Now I'll also talk to our guy that drops off wood chips. He's gonna come in that way, so it's gonna be easy for him. But really, as Lori continues to pan that way, you're gonna get an idea as you pass by us here, our growing space. <laughs> so all that area, all the way up even past where the house is, is where we're gonna actually start our growing. A lot of it will be fruit trees. We've got a whole lot of grapevines going in there. We've got a lot of in-ground gardening that we plan on doing back here behind the orchard. Just a lot of space to get started. So actually standing back here, seeing where this fence is gonna come across, designate our growing area versus our livestock area is really, really exciting to see. So now, of course, all the measurements are done. Next weekend, what we need to do is just start getting the rest of our materials together and actually start digging in the ground again to get this fencing done because, man, we got to get to planting. So just want to thank you for joining us today. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. Questions or comments, leave those in the comment section down below. Instagram and Facebook, we post content there you won't see around the YouTube channel. And our Amazon shop, I'll leave a link down in the description. That's a free painless way to help support the channel. If you start with that link, it doesn't matter what you buy, it helps to support us here. So just want to thank you for joining us today and remind you, if we can farm on the edge of nowhere, so can you. Now, there you say that. Gunfire. Gunfire in the background. Hello everyone, this is Dwayne. <laughs> Sun is hot. And we really need quads or something, because that was a lot of walking. <laughs> a lot of walking. <laughs>